deep inside a bustling city, as Amsam walked along the streets, his stomach began to rumble very strongly and loudly. The ground trembled beneath his feet, surprising him. He quickly realized that his stomach had grown powerful enough to shake the very buildings around him. People nearby froze as shop windows rattled and cups trembled on cafe tables. Birds fluttered into the sky in confusion, while car alarms blared across the street. The rumble echoed through the city like thunder, sending waves across fountains and making traffic lights sway dangerously. Aumsum clutched his stomach tighter, worried that another rumble might cause even greater chaos. Suddenly, across the city, construction workers cried out as scaffolding shook dangerously above a busy street. Cracks began to appear on old buildings, and loose tiles slid off rooftops. Aumsum's eyes widened in alarm. He arrived just as a tall crane began to tilt its heavy load swaying dangerously above the crowd. Using quick thinking, Amsam clapped both hands over his stomach and focused. Instead of letting the rumble escape wildly, he tried to guide the sound. He directed the vibrations outward in one powerful burst, timed perfectly to shake the crane's swinging hook away from the people below. The crowd gasped as the hook landed harmlessly onto a clear patch of ground. The crowd cheered loudly for their hero, Om Sum. Hmm. Om Sum loved sleep more than anything in the world. But one morning, something strange happened. Om Sum's eyes refused to open. No matter how hard he tried, he just couldn't wake up. He wasn't sick or tired. He was just stuck in sleep. Inside his dreams, Amsum was on a magical adventure. He floated through fluffy dream clouds and sailed down rivers made of hot chocolate. It was perfect until the sky started darkening. The clouds started turning into thick gray blankets that wrapped tightly around everything. He wasn't just sleeping, he was trapped. Meanwhile, back in the real world, people all around the neighborhood were dozing off during conversations walking into walls mid-snore, and falling asleep on bicycles. It was like Aumsum's sleepiness had somehow become contagious. Deep inside the dream, Aumsum saw a glowing mountain made of ticking clocks. At the very top stood a giant hourglass which had flipped on its side. Aumsum instantly knew that if he could flip the hourglass back, then everything could get back to normal. Amsum didn't feel like a hero. He felt sleepy, but he knew he had to try. It wasn't easy. His eyelids grew heavier with every step, but he kept climbing, one drowsy foot after another. When he finally reached the top, the hourglass shimmered, pulsing with sleepy energy. Amsum mustered all the strength he had left and pushed with everything he had. The hourglass flipped, Instantly, a burst of light spread across the dream sky. Aumsum shot up in his bed, eyes wide open. Outside, the birds were chirping, the sun was shining, and the world was back to normal. People all over town were waking up, confused but refreshed. No one ever knew how it all got fixed, but Aumsum, the hero, did. It all began on a breezy spring morning when Aumsum was admiring the cherry blossoms in full bloom. A gentle tickle rose in his nose and out came a mighty achoo! That sneeze, however, never really ended. Another sneeze followed right after, and then another. At first, it was funny. His cereal bowl flew off the table. His socks shot across the room. Even his pet hamster looked impressed. But, as the sneezing continued, things started getting out of hand. Amsum couldn't brush his teeth without spraying toothpaste across the mirror. He couldn't open a book without accidentally sneezing it shut. He once tried to blow up a balloon for a science project, but a sudden sneeze sent the balloon flying out the window and straight into the principal's car. His reputation at school transformed from quiet genius to the human tornado. Doctors scratched their heads. Was it allergies? A rare disorder? A magical nose? 
No one knew. Some suggested he live inside a bubble. Others said he should move to Antarctica, where there's less pollen. But Aumsum just kept on sneezing in class, at the grocery store, even while trying to take a nap. Every achu huh? felt like a miniature earthquake. As the days passed, Aumsum began to notice strange things. Once, a sneeze knocked over a stack of books and revealed a secret trap door in the library. Another time, his sneeze popped the lid off a jar of fireflies, lighting up a dark hallway. Eventually, the town got used to the sneezing boy. Stores started keeping extra tissues. The school janitor wore goggles. His classmates invented a game called Dodge the Sneeze, which became more popular than Tag. Aumsum decided to take things in his own hands. He built a sneeze-proof backpack with automatic tissue dispensers and created a portable sneeze shield for crowded places. Hmm. One evening, Aumsum stumbled upon a shimmering moss-covered rock in the middle of the forest behind his school. Curious, he reached out, and the moment his fingers touched the rock, he vanished. His shadow disappeared. Even the squirrels stopped and blinked in confusion before scurrying away. As the sun dipped, he realized he could turn the invisibility on and off with a mere thought. That night, a strange rumbling shook the town. Lights flickered and car alarms blared. A massive hole had cracked open near the old railway tunnel. The town's officials cordoned it off. But Omsum slipped past unnoticed. Deep beneath the surface, <laughs> Glowing vines lit his path. Aumsum followed the glowing vines until he reached a vast cavern, and there it stood, a colossal, ancient machine, half buried in rock, pulsing with green light, and slithering around it were creatures, metallic serpents with glowing huh? eyes. The machine was reawakening, and the creatures were its guardians. Somehow, Aumsum knew if it powered up completely, the serpents would rise to the surface and the town would never be safe again. He had no weapons, no backup, only the power of invisibility and his wits. Carefully, Amsum snuck past the serpents, dodging their scanning eyes. He climbed onto the machine, searching for a way to shut it down. At its core was a control panel, humming and glowing. He began to press buttons at random, but the machine roared louder. One serpent caught a glimpse of his movement and lunged, but he vanished just in time. The serpent crashed into the controls, sparks flew, and the entire cavern began to collapse. With the ceiling crumbling and the machine smoking, Aumsum ran. At the last second, he leapt through the narrowing tunnel and tumbled out safely. Aumsum had become an invisible hero this time. Hmm.